Very good. The next case on the agenda is REZ 202310. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Go ahead. Thank you, Commissioner. This is a request by Mr. Roy Coker to rezone approximately three and a half acres you see here in white on the middle of your screen. Located along Mount Zion Church from EA to its current uh, R21 is the proposed zoning to be developed as a neighborhood. Now this project is within the urban service area and classified within the suburban character area. Uh, and again, there are no wells to speak up on the property. These are the approximate three and a half acres. And Mr. Copeland does plan to combine them with the surrounding seven acres you see here, totaling approximately 10 acres. Historically, the property was zoned AU, but in 2006, when the county adopted the ULDC, it changed the zoning, and the owners then had an opportunity to return to their previous zoning, which this owner did. So essentially creating an island of EA within uh, R21. So for the past 20 years, it's been EA, and now that the property's changed ownership, they're requesting it to go to R21. The staff finds request consistent with the comprehensive plan and the existing land use pattern. Commissioner, any questions for staff on this case? In that case, I will open the public hearing portion on this case. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? If so, please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Chairman of the Commission, Calvin Brown, 1701 Dio Drive, Boston, Georgia. I think he explained it real good, and I think this will be an enhancement to the area. Any questions? No, but my vision thought it was good as it used to be. I didn't see you in the audience. <laughs> We're very glad to have you back here, Mr. Brown, who's one of our former colleagues. It's good to see you again. Thank you. Any, any questions for Mr. Brown? Okay. Is there anyone else here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? So please come forward. Seeing no one, is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak against this case? If so please come forward. Seeing no one, that will close the public hearing portion of this case. Commissioners, any further discussion amongst ourselves? Yeah. Who's that? Have you seen a layout to see if this is going to get in here? Is this 3.8 more acres? Uh, no, sir. And again, this is 3.8. The existing properties to your west are already zoned R21. Uh, I believe the plan is to combine them all into approximately a 10 acre tract of R21. This is just a piece that needs to be combined. Oh, uh, so you think he's going to the west with that other property? Yes, sir. All of these properties, um, it doesn't quite show up on the aerial, but they actually have an existing uh, fence running the entire length of all, sure, all sure of these that. properties. Yeah, you sure that. Uh, Beautiful, by the way. So, so again, we have not seen a layout, but again, this is just cleaning up the zoning pattern. Is, uh, is that, yeah, so he's, the, the residence, he owns that also. His daughter lives there or something, I believe? I believe that is correct, sir. And is that, what kind of structure is that in the backyard? Uh, that is an existing house and, and barn in the back there on the subject property. I was unable to get past the fence to see it in more detail, but that is what it shows. R21 is half acre? Half acre, that's correct. So, you didn't receive any opposition to this? I received a call from a neighbor to the north, uh, not pictured here, a uh, little bit past the Y in the word imagery there, um, requesting basically more information about why he said that he was concerned for duplexes. Um, I informed him that he too is also zoned R21 and he could have duplexes on his property if he so chose. Um, and the existing properties to the west are zoned R21 and they, they do for allow for duplexes. But staff has not seen a particular site plan or lot layout uh, for this request. Uh, the applicant is just exploring his options for potential development. There are no county utilities in this area, however, there are city utilities all throughout Mount Zion Church Road. Uh, so there is a possibility of annexation later on if he so chose. But currently he is in the county and he's requesting R21 zoning. Thank you for clarification. I know Cross Street, Kelsey, yes, sir. is half acres. Yes, sir. To the east, that needs are Miller Circle. Yes, sir. It's like 60 foot wide, about 100 feet deep. Yes, sir. Some of the patterns there, again, R10, PD, City. That's R6. City R6, PRD10. So that, that's the. You see the so, so this is in a can. Is he going to get an annex into the city? 
if he so chooses, he could have it served by individual well and septic, which would most likely increase his lot size. So he'd, he'd change his footprint of that, that kind of match to even Miller, probably. Potentially, yes, sir. And again, that's why he has multiple options here. Okay. He'd still have to lose all of Yeah, he would. He, he, yes, he yeah. Because he's yeah. 21. Exactly. So I'm just saying that he, the, 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 I still count utility school in the city. Mr. Colton couldn't be here tonight. Well, no, sir. Well, it's at 30 seconds. Uh, any other any other uh, discussion by the commissioners or staff or amongst themselves? <clears throat> then I will entertain a motion on this case. One of the commissioners, please. Chairman Tower, I yes, sir. In reference to the rezoning case REZ two zero two three ten, so moved that we recommend approval of this and in conjunction with the uh, system of property plan and existing. Okay. All right, we have a motion to recommend approval by Commissioner Blackwood and a second by Commissioner Webb. Any further discussion before we vote? No. All those in favor of the motion to recommend approval, please signify by raising your right hand. Any opposed? Same sign. And the motion to recommend approval passes. <laughs>